Oh, well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be using this mini shotgun. Oh, you guys will have to wait till later on to see it. We are going to be going out hunting later today, but it is fall and you guys know fall fishing is like the best time to go fishing. So me and Kyler, we're going to go out hunting, do a little catch and cook, take a little nap, and then go fishing. Today's video won't be possible without the Guggen Squad. So if you guys would like, make sure you guys go check them out. I'll leave their link down below. They got rods, they got apparel, they got baits. They got everything you need for fishing. So if you guys want to save yourself some money, use code MINDAC at checkout. I hope you guys stay till the end of today's video because you guys don't want to miss this fishing portion. We, we caught some dandy fish for the fall time. They were pretty big for this time of year and we also caught a lot of dinks. But it was a pretty good day of fishing overall. But that being said, we're going to go ahead and get right into today's video. She mighty? Or she not that bad? Perfect. Half a dozen decoys, right Bauer? That's all it needs. Yep. Little slough, little pocket. Well, we just got out here to the slough. We just got the decoys set up. It's a pretty small pocket of water, and uh, we got a pretty good hide. You wanna show the boy? Oh, there it is, hey. Yeah. So I uh, picked this up at local Dunham's. Oh yeah, I guess I wanted to thing. buy one for years. It's a 12 gauge, three inch chamber break. It's just a little baby guy. It folds down. You've killed a couple of birds with it before, haven't you? It's got two teal to its name. So hopefully we can get a couple of wedge for its name now, huh? Are you gonna shoot that thing right away? I suppose. You suppose? One or two. Kyle's gonna shoot right away with that thing, and uh, hopefully he can get it done. It's just got a little classic 870 bead on it, so. Should be a good morning. Shooting lights in a couple minutes here. We're just wedging, pintails, mallards, teal in this little, little pocket of water. Well, there's our first stock we got. About three minutes till shooting light. Kyle might let it eat if it comes a little bit closer. That island is probably 35, 40 yards, somewhere in there. So it's not a far shot at all. So Kyle might get his first stock. That's swimming in the decoys here in just a little bit, but we're gonna see if we can get one to come in and fly. There's a whole bunch of teal bombing around. He's gonna load up again and see if we can't get another duck on the ground. But this one's decoyed pretty well too. <laughs> Power! Oh, dude. Bye bye duckies. Well, it's been a little while and uh, some birds came in there and Bauer missed them. Buddy, <laughs> what's going on? I'm just not used to the gun, huh? No, you're gonna pick up your regular gun? <laughs> yeah, I'm over it. Your turn. Oh, it's light enough. I'm gonna put on the GoPro and uh, see if we can't get any duckos on the ground because Bauer can't get her done. I don't know. This thing's a beast, though, bro. It's literally as long as my arm. One of the rat. Feels like one of those like Red Rider BB uh, guns. Feels like one of those Red Rider BB guns, yeah. you know. To be honest with you guys, I don't know if I'm gonna hit anything with this thing, but we're gonna see how it goes. I shall. Hey. Ricky! Oh my god, dude, this thing kicks like a mule. It completely left my left hand, bro. What the? Oh my god. Dude, this thing is a beefcake. Wow, I just got my world rocked. Holy smokes. I'm gonna need a closer duck than that. Holy mackerel. Well, first shot with it. My shoulder already hurt, so we're gonna see how long I can shoot this thing. Two up front, two up front, two up front. Hey, I got one. Oh, smoked them. Shot out of the air? Yeah, I got it out of the air. Barely out of the air, but I got him out of the air with this beast. Two green wingers came in. Perfect. Where'd he go? Exactly right. Oh, right here. Oh, that was so close, dude. I couldn't get a beat on him right away. <laughs> nice little green winger. <laughs> nice little young drake. Doesn't quite have the full colors, but absolute beautiful bird. 
Holy cow, I'm gonna shoot this a couple more times to see if I can get one or two more, but heck yeah. <laughs> Okay, I need to put this thing away, bro. I can't do this no more. Maybe I'll pick it up for my last duck, but as of right now, I need to quit botching all these birds. Hopefully, we get some ducks to come in. Some actual big ducks, not just little tilios. Hopefully those widgeons and mallards and pintails come soon. Three shots for one, brother? Come on. I was so far behind them, bro. I shall. Walky slush. Come here, puppy. Nice one. <laughs> Nice little teal came in and I had to give it to him because we got bored waiting for these mallards and widgeon. I don't know where they're at. So figured I might as well clap buddies. So now I'm at four ducks total, four green wing. Another green winger. Oh yeah. Big green wing guys, I guess. Well, here comes Mr. Kyle with his teal. But I figured I'd take this time to tell you guys that I found the waders, like the waders. Cause this last couple years I've been going through like, I don't know, I think it's been like five pairs of waders through, you know, duck hunting. Oh God, these geese are cupped up, bro. <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say before those geese interrupted me was I found the perfect waders. I've gone through like five pairs of waders in the last two years. And I think I found the ones. I've had these all year. It is the Tide Wee Waders. So these are the waders I've been rocking this whole waterfowl season. And I'm going to continue rocking them. They're nice and warm. They're comfortable. They fit right. These straps are beautiful too. Because you know, they got that little rubber piece. If you guys would like to go check them out, I'll leave the link down below. Mr. Kyle is coming back with his teal. All for a teal. You fall in the mud. Absolutely. Oh, it's nice to know the Drake, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, had a boy. That was a good shot. Well, that's where we're gonna end today's hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got seven teal, seven all green wing. Right, Kyle? Yep. Yep, it was a good day, and we're gonna do a little catch clean cook action, huh? Yeah, got some ideas. Well, we're gonna go pick up the decoys and uh, the gun. Works great. Kinda, sorta. Not really. I don't know. It was kinda tricky. We probably take some practice to actually hit some birds with it. Sadly, the widgeon did not come, but like I said, we're gonna go to the store, get some supplies, and then I'll see you guys back at the house. Well, we finally made it back here to the house, and we got the tealios all cleaned up. Kyle's going to work, but we got some with the fat on and some with the fat off. We're gonna be making a little burger, like a rodeo burger from Burger King, if you guys have ever had any of those. You know what they are, it's basically just a small little slider with a piece of, you know, ground beef, some cheese, and some onion, and some barbecue sauce. So, that is what we're gonna be doing, but with duck instead of ground beef. We're gonna be doing all this stuff like ourselves. So, we got the buns, some rosemary, some barbecue sauce, some bacon, onion, and we're gonna add some lettuce. So, we're gonna get to slicing and dicing and get everything ready, and I'll see you guys when this is like kind of done cooking. <laughs> But this is a juice right here, some duck smoky barbecue. I'm just gonna do a little bit of ducks. I think you're gonna have to try one right now. Oh my goodness, that thing is just busting. Oh, you just went straight in for it. Oh my god. That's unreal. It's like it all goes oh. well together? Oh, I have everything. Does it taste better than a Brodeo burger from BK? No, it's unreal. Really? I'm not kidding you. <laughs> Onion Look rings. at that. Medium. Perfect. Onion rings. That adds a lot. Oh yeah. But that duck. Skin on, I'm telling you. Skin on, bro. That's, That's your first time ever trying it with the skin on. First what do you time. think? I think it's great. 
Definitely recommend it to people. Go for oh, yeah. Off the wall. Well, it's my turn to go in. Cheers to you guys at home. <laughs> New favorite way to eat duck. Yeah. That you can't even taste duck. Yeah. It's so good. Look at that. Well, we finally made it down to the water here. We got the Guggen Rod right here. We got the Green Series. Should be good to go. So, I'm just starting off with a quarter ounce pink jig head. And we're gonna take a saucy swimmer. Kyle's gonna start off with a minnow with some live bait, cause live bait this time of year works really well. But I'm using a Pro Blue Red 3.3 inch. Nice little paddle tail there, white on the back. Got a nice blue tint and a dark top. Really imitates a leech or a minnow this time of year, which these walleyes will be feasting on. And there we go, perfect every time, 3.3 inch. Blam, ready to go. Wow, you can go real far out here. We're fishing the windblown side because obviously that's like the best for fishing. Pretty shallow. This lake is only like four or five feet deep. We're just gonna work the saucy in. What? Oh, oh nice. that was that big. Yeah, dude, I, I just fucking reeling it in and I was like, oh. Nice. I, I, don't, I don't know what it was, but... <laughs> a little walleye, huh? A snag? Holding up this bee fuel log. Oh my god. Let's see if I can... I mean... Yeah, Kyle. Things taller than me. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I suck. You need help or you gooch? I want to come see what it is at least. It might be a nice camper. Let me see what you Ooh. Nice one? It's a nice one. Oh yeah. I can grab them for you if you want. Nice, nice. He's barely. Oh. <laughs> That's a beauty, brother. Had a boy? That's a tanker. Mid 20 inch fish. Heck yeah. Probably gonna let this one go. Huh? Oh yeah, nice full fish. Yeah. See you later, buddy. I'm getting murked. I just can't hook up for some reason. Oh. There it is. No, dude. It's a white bass. No. I didn't know these guys existed in here either, but gross. Here we go. There's a nice one. It's a walleye. The Guggen rod's getting a workout though. Ooh, double? It's a nice, nice one too. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> it's geese. What? Oh no. Looky there. Pop the hook out here. Another beautiful walleye. Well rip, I forgot to film the release, but there was a release right there. Beautiful fish, beautiful. Well, 
that's where we're gonna end today's video. I'm sorry today's video is kind of just jumbled together. It wasn't really the greatest video I have ever filmed in my life, and I know it was kind of just all over the place. So I apologize for that. Overall, it was a great day out on the water. Even in the field, it was a great day. Then even doing the catch and cook, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was something a little bit different. I have never done that before. It was something a little bit interesting, I thought. And if you guys have any fire duck recipes you guys want me to try, drop a comment down below, let me know. So that being said, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys go check out the Guggen Squad and we'll catch you guys on the next one.